Greetings gamers, welcome to part number 43 of my Let's Play Fire Emblem 9, Path of Radiance. And in today's episode, I have to deal with Schaefer, the boss of chapter 22, Solo. And he is interesting. He's a warrior with a killer axe and a killer bow. So he's quite the killer. And... He also has Colossus. In certain conditions, increases damage when units con exceeds enemies. I am not at all sure how this skill works in this game. I want to say that it's like what happens is that if his constitution or build is better than his enemies he has a chance and i believe it's a skill percentage chance to proc colossus and then what it does is it adds his constitution to his damage so if he was doing five damage he would do 18. um do not quote me on that because it, the problem is is that it's not really well known or really well iterated and every site that i have checked is telling me this that or the other and not being all that particularly helpful concerning what it actually does which doesn't really matter because i'm not going to be personally using the wonderful colossus myself because it's only used on i believe berserkers and warriors you do get one berserker in this game and that's a very quaint thing, but it's not exactly great because he's he is like the opposite of Hawkeye in in a berserker fashion, which really annoys me because I love Hawkeye as a berserker, whereas I don't really care that much for the way that oh I have friends down here. The way that uh, many other Berserkers are handled in the series, they're often very fragile. Very strong and have a lot of HP, but very fragile. Whereas Hawkeye is the literal opposite. He's strong. The, his, his problem is, is that he doesn't have enough speed. But he's got great defenses, and that's even on the resistance side, and great HP. I would rather have that for a Berserker. Alright. Now, um... Considering I have to wait a little bit, because I have to defeat, I have to steal this physic before I can defeat the boss, I was thinking I could actually steal his killer bow. The problem is, is I don't think that that means that his killer axe would be obtainable afterwards. Yeah, because, actually no, I can't steal either because he's not fast enough. That's the problem with having an untrained Volk. But granted, I don't really care for Volk um, training him in any way, shape, or form. He's, he's a great unit. He can be a great unit. He's just not my type of unit. This right here demonstrating the fact that Shade does not protect you if you're the only one in the range. And Def Dan has been poisoned, unfortunately. And my turn begets, begins in earnest. All right, so... Ah, man. Close, but no cigar. This is going to be yet another turn. I'm going to have to wait on... being able to steal that physic, which is fine. It's only turn seven. It's really not that big a deal. Good shot. And I'll heal up Dev Dan. I do still have two chests in order to get as well. So what I think I'm going to do here, shove you in order to go get those two chests, and I'm going to have Shinhan probably take this KO from Dev Dan as long as he doesn't crit with the Killer Lance, that is. And uh, I'm going to grab this final chest over here with Titania. Silver Bow. A decent weapon for Shinon. Not really anything otherwise. 
And, uh, yeah. I could be using these turns to gain experience points with Rayson, but he's already level 17. Doesn't really need any more experience points. And that's my turn. Yep, he got the KO, which is fine. All of my units need the experience points one way or another. And it is time. Grab that chest. A spirit dust. I don't think it would be possible for me to get that other chest opened, unfortunately. Thank you for the physic. And that's going to be my turn. Next turn, I'm going to be able to deal with Schaefer and finally finish off this chapter. Yeah, these priests, these bishops having their light tomes, they're not all that big of a threat. Usually I don't te te technically or typically worry about them whatsoever. And chest. Nosferatu. A sellable, yes. Um, because I'm mindful to do it anyway, I might as well just go ahead and steal that mend. Shove you out of the way. All right. Brave sword or killing edge. Killing edge would be great if he actually got a crit here. <laughs> now, here's a familiar face. It's one of Dayan's old generals. Look, I'm a coward, and you're a traitor. Let's be friends. What do you say? Yep, no crit for Toronio. And Schaefer misses both of his attacks with the Killer Axe. That's kind of funny. Defender... All right, this this looks like a good, good um, attack target. Hey, Robes, if I get so much as scratched, you better get to healing. Yeah, Mist actually could have died there if he crit her. Um, I have my sincere doubts he would have done such because of the fact of, is just that he had only an 18 hit on her. That's just not likely in that in that scenario. I do have healing I can perform. Um, problem is, is I don't really want to waste a physic for that, and I'm not going to. All right, steel sword. Watch him miss a 99. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> so you've made it this far, have you? Tell me, how many pathetic priests did you have to kill to get here? Come on, five more? They're pretty scrawny. You could probably take ten or so without breaking a sweat. Cowardly cur. Time to stop hiding and fight like a man. And there goes Schaefer. I get a killer bow. I, I would much prefer to have the killer bow over the killer axe because of Shinon. <laughs> Should have brought more priests. Or some babies. Dang. And level 9 Ike. He, he, man, he is not leveling up good. To say the absolute least. Thank you very much. I never imagined that we would be rescued by soldiers of an enemy nation. There was no way we'd cut down innocent priests being forced to fight against their wills. Father, we bear no ill will toward the kingdom of Dayan itself. We wish only to reclaim the homeland which was unjustly taken from us. That is the reason we fight. We had no desire to invade this land. If nothing else, please believe that. I beg your pardon. May I have the favor of your name? Elincia Rydell Crimea. I'm the sole survivor of the Crimean royal family. Oh, you. Let us give thanks that you are alive and well. 
and please, I beg your understanding as well. There are many Dayans who do not support the king's actions. I understand. My young general, this is for you. Huh? As thanks for saving our lives. You get the Ashira staff. This is the S-rank staff, the reason why I trained Miss to S-rank staves rather than swords. Because though there is an S-rank sword in this game, I do have it in fact, she has no real use for it because she's not a physical attacker but a magical one. So having an S-rank staff user is great. Granted, the other staff user I'm going to be getting later on in this game has a very good chance of becoming an S-rank staff user as well as long as you use high rank staffs with her. But, it doesn't matter, I like using it on Mist. I like having it before I have that unit, and having the access of using it. So this has range of total. This will heal all, restores all allied HP, unit, uh, HP to all allied units, as well as restoring their conditions to normal. This is amazing. I believe only two times in the franchise has there been a staff this powerful. Which is hilarious, because neither of those two times are in Thracia, where staves are considered their strongest. I believe this is true with Sacred Stones and Path of Radiance are the only two that have... No, Radiant Dawn also has the Ishira Staff, so I guess there would be three instances. I, don't, I cannot recall of any other instances where this staff is... Or a staff is as powerful as this in any other in any other fran uh, franchise entry. Fantastic! I cannot wait to uh, get to use that. However, I will say this: that is a candidate for one of the items that I do use Hamern on it, and the only way you get it is by protecting all the priests in that chapter. Definitely a good reason to do that. Now it's time to search this place, my lord. I may I join you? Sure, why not? Everyone's lending a... Ike, Ike, where are you? Mist, I'm over here. Ike, this way, quickly. Rayson's in trouble. What? Rayson, what is it? He's been like this from the moment he set foot in this room. He's just staring at the walls. What is all this? Every wall has the same pattern on it. It's not a pattern. It's an ancient language. All chants and spells and magic scrolls are written thusly. Can you read it, Soren? Some, but not all. Spells are simple, whereas this is a complex narrative. I think Prince Rayson could read it. I bet this is the same language that Leanne was speaking. It is. It's the Serenus language. Their chants are all in this language, too. So Rayson is reading what's written on the walls? It appears that way. Shall we leave him be? There's a lot of writing here. This could take hours. I think that's a good idea. Ike! What is it? From what I could gather, I think a person was locked in this room sometime in the past. You don't know who it was, do you? I wasn't able to read enough of the writing, but I found this under the bed. Is this... I think it may have belonged to whoever was imprisoned in this room. I apologize. I took up much of your time. Rayson, you don't look so good. Why don't you rest for a bit? No, I'm fine. It's more important that we talk. About the owner of this feather? Was it in that room? Soren found it. Whose was it? Lilia, my older sister. The writing on the walls is hers. You have an older sister, too? Will you tell us about it? She was kidnapped near 20 years ago, on the night of the Serenus Massacre. I, I thought that Lilia had been murdered along with my other brothers and sisters. I believe that until today. Who took her? The walls say only that he was a large human. She probably never knew he, who it was. He thrust a clan treasure at her and demanded that she use her magic to revive the thing sealed inside it. He exhorted her again and again, but to no avail. Lilia refused his request every time, because she did not possess the power. Someone wa wanted to revive the Dark God. Shortly after she was brought here, Lilia fell ill and collapsed. I'm not surprised. It was a terrible time. She was imprisoned in that tiny room with no view of earth or sky. Oh, that's all. <laughs> Missed. 
I'm sorry, I, I just feel so sad for Lilia, and for, for Rayson, too. I beg your pardon, let me continue. A young Bjork began coming to the room to care for Lilia. She had bluish hair and blue eyes, and her heart was unusually pure for a Bjork. In time, Lilia and she came to be friends, and shared a mutual trust. Ah. Lilia decided to entrust her hopes to that woman. They shared no common language, so it took some time. But eventually, the Bjork woman understood what it was Lilia wanted, which was to take the treasure and the song and flee this temple. B -b 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 brother Was there anything else written about this Bjork woman? A name, perhaps? Translated into our language, it was probably Elena. I knew it! it mother! It was our mother! What? Are, are you sure? Our mother's name was Elena. Like me, her hair was blue, as were her eyes. Rayson, the object you refer to as your clan treasure was an aged bronze medallion, wasn't it? How? How did you know that? The medallion became my mother's keepsake. The song, too. My parents both gave their lives to protect it. Ike, you and Mist are Elena's children? Then Leron's medallion is here? Um. The me medallion was stolen, probably by Dayan. It can't. This is unbelievable. Can a thing like this be chance? Nope, there is no such thing as chance. <laughs> to be honest, I don't fully understand all that's happened, but it all makes sense. It all comes together. Ah. Mist. That's the song that... But the melody's a little different, isn't it? It's similar to the song Rayson and Leanne sang in the forest. My mother used to sing it as a lullaby. It is the song of release. The one Lilia entrusted to Elena. But, but, I wore the medallion and sang that song almost every single night, and nothing ever happened. The magical effect of the song is awakened by the power of the singer. It can't be unleashed by just anyone. The true song of release can only be sung by a girl named Altina. Lilia wanted your mother to take the melody to Altina and return the medallion to its rightful place in Serenus Forest. The story's becoming clearer and clearer. My father fled Dayan to protect my mother, who was carrying the amulet. Ike, how did you know? Volk told me. He told me about my father's past and the amulet and the Dark God, too. So you know everything? King Ashnar took Lilia, didn't he? That would be the final piece of the puzzle. After all, the man who found my father was the king's henchman. Ike, are you saying you know who killed Commander Grail? You never said anything about that. We all thought his murderer was unknown. Why didn't you say anything? I don't know. I never felt like talking about it. He was a day in soldier, wasn't he? Who was it? Who was the man who killed Commander Grail? Ike, tell me. Can we discuss this later? Oh, yes. Yes, of, of course. Up to this point, we've all been fighting for the liberation of Crimea. Even if we now add to that stopping the Dark God from being released and punishing Commander Grail's killer, our enemy remains unchanged. King Dan and his henchmen are the ones who we must defeat. It's mysterious, isn't it? I mean, Rayson said the same thing earlier, but could all this really be mere co coincidence? The fall of Crimea... Ike's parents, the death of Rayson's sister, the fact that everything leads back to Dan. If true, it changes the meaning behind this war. The treatment of Lily is one thing, but the assassination of the informal, former apostle, the framing and destruction of my nation. If it was all part of Dan's plan to steal the medallion and the song, then I, I, the reason I fight... Very interesting. Things are changing. People are being enlightened to some different beliefs. If that's the decision you've reached, we'll respectfully comply. If we can march quickly and know that someone's protecting our backs, it would be a huge relief. As you wish. May the fortunes of war be with the Crimean army. If you have need of soldiers, send word. We'll move out at top speed. I'll be counting on it.
The information gathered at Palmeni Temple leads Ike ever closer to the hidden truths behind the war. The assassination of Begnion's former apostle led to the massacre of Serenus. A Serenus princess was kidnapped. The medallion is stolen. A complex scheme see, seemed to connect these events. And now those threads have become clearer and clearer. Ashnard's motives are still a mystery, but his silhouette lurks in the shadows of all that happens. Ike returns from the temple and renounces all rights to the rule of Dayan. Those rights are then passed through General Zalgius of Begnion to the Apostle herself. The Crimean army absorbs another troop from Begnion and with its might increased, marches on the Dayan crimean border. Its next goal is the Riven Bridge, a massive structure that connects the two countries. Chapter 23, The Great Bridge. My Lord Ike, may I have a moment? Of course, what is it? The soldiers say that tomorrow we'll be able to see the Great Bridge. Once we cross it, we'll be in Crimea. That's what I've been told. It feels like I've been away for many years. Crimea is the land where I was born and raised, to feel so removed from it. I feel now, at this late juncture, that... I know almost nothing of my own country. It is an unreal experience. I know what you mean. I don't have the sense that we're on the brink of being back in Crimea either. I don't even remember this area at all. Maybe it's because I was born in Gallia and raised in the countryside. But countries are joined together like this all over the continent. I'm really in awe of it all. So am I. For one who knew nothing of life outside the royal villa, everything is so very big. Big, hmm? Yeah, I guess you're right. When we left Crimea, it was spring. The snows were melting, the days were getting longer, and the weather was mild. It's been almost a year since we departed. Only a year, but the distance we've traveled to get here has been long and hard. It feels like many years have passed us by. Yet this is the land where I was born and raised. Ah, my dear sweet Crimea, how is it that you feel so far away? For me, too. Crimea is my homeland. We're almost there. Let's go home. It is as you say, my Lord Ike. Let's go home. Ooh, what a romantic setting. Makes it hard to make an appearance. I guess I could just leave you two. Huh? I know that voice. Hey there, Ike. Looks like we stayed alive long enough to be re reunited. Aren't we the lucky ones? Ranoff. My Lord Ranoff, how nice to see you again. My Princess Alencia, welcome home. I'd curtsy, but the tale makes it, makes it look silly. What are you so darned chipper about? You should be bowing, not curtsying. You are a man, after all. Once I heard the news that Cry the Crimean army had been taken, taken the day in capital, I ran all this way to greet you. How go things in Gallia? You're not engaged in open hostilities with Dayan, are you? Not yet. What's that supposed to mean? In light of your army's success, the elders have finally agreed on something. Gallia will lend its full support to Princess Crimea's efforts to liberate her homeland. It's a done deal. Really? So is the Gallian army going to... We're going to establish communications with them and create a united front. That being said, Gallia is here to support you. The Crimean army will always be at the center of the effort. Effort, don't forget that. King Gallia is being most gracious. The po that posture will allow Crimea to lay claim to any vi victories we achieve. Don't say things like that. I'm shocked like that you would understand such subtleties. Who are you, and what have you done with Ike? I don't believe you have the right to speak to me like that. I believe everybody has the right to speak to you like that. Kidding, actually. Soren just lectured me on the same situation when we received reinforcements from Begnion. Of course. You were tutored by your nervous little staff officer. Now I get it. Has he snapped yet? He seems high-strung. King Kanakis is always thinking of Crimea, isn't he? How can we ever... How can I ever repay him? Princess, let's just win your country back. When that's done, please rebuild the bonds of friendship between our nations. That would be the ultimate way to say thank you, wouldn't it? Yes. Yes, of course. I think my biggest issue with Path of Radiance is that the two games that preceded it in the West, which are Sacred Stones and the Blazing Sword, 
are both better translated than this game. There are many issues with the translation. Like for instance, how in the world does a localization team look at Ranoff and say, you know what, we're going to translate these Japanese kanjis and these and these statements that would clearly say he'd bow because in Japan they only bow, so they wouldn't even have a rec recognized understanding of the idea of curtsy, right? Um, to have him curtsy rather than bow. It's very stupid. And you can't even say that it's intentional and that this game has intentional flubs because they're trying to push some some kind of hidden narrative. Because the issue is, is you have things like Balmer. When you first meet him, Ike calls him a mage and says, wow, you're a mage. Oh, I just met you. Oh, wait, I've known a mage all my entire life. His name is Soren. You're not a mage. You're a sage. Wow. <laughs> It's so stupid. There is many different little inconsistencies in the in the game that I just don't like. It's the same way in pa Radiant Dawn as well. Very inconsistent. I almost want to say that the localization teams for both of these games must have been different. Now it is time to receive the report from Soren, 6,000 gold, and MVP was Titania, which is actually kind of surprising because she only fought on the right-hand side. There were no deaths and no injuries. Goodbye, Soren. Info? Hmm. Soren, you... are you in here? Yes. Ike, it's late. What do you want? Shh. Um, Ike? Oh no, how strange. I was sure he'd come this way. You who? That voice. It's the woman from the item shop, isn't it? Commander, Ike, where have you gone, handsome? Crud. Did you run in here to escape? Look, whenever that woman corners me, it takes forever to get away. Let me hide in here until things simmer down. We begin marching tomorrow morning. This is a waste of valuable time. I'll go and chase her away. Wait, Soren. Ike, Ikey Poo, where are you? Amy. Oh, Soren. Ew. <laughs> I mean, um, hi. Why are you out so late? Do you have some business with Ike? Well, yes I do. I found a special something that I'd like to give to him. Do you know where he is? Ike is in a war meeting. If you have something for him, I can hold on to it for you. Hmm, what should I do? You see, I have this new staff. The staff is very valuable. I'm not sure if I feel comfortable simply handing it over to someone who doesn't understand that. That's a Hermern, is it not? A rare staff that can take any item, no matter how battered and worn, and repair it completely. Why, that's right. You're quite knowledgeable, aren't you? If I may continue, I believe that there is only one of these in all the world. It truly is priceless. And you want to give this to Ike? Well, I do want to be helpful. If you truly wish to capture Ike's attention, bringing him staves and whatnot will avail you nothing. What? Really? Oh dear, I was so hoping he would like it. Food, however, would be much more effective than a staff. He's particularly fond of spicy meat dishes. Is that so? Cooking is not something that I'm skilled at, but... Oh, I've got it. I know that perfect dish. Ah, uh, good. He will be very pleased. Um, what about the staff? <laughs> you can keep it as payment for the cooking tip. Take good care of it. Well, she's unexpectedly generous. I received something quite nice from your admirer, Aiki Poo. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Hamurn. Awesome. A staff that restores an item to its maximum durability. I typically use one use on the Ashura staff, as well as one to two uses on the Sonic Sword, and potentially the other use. Okay, so either one on the Sonic Sword and one on another sword that Mist is going to get or I use both on the Sonic Sword or both on that one sword. So I'm kind of very peculiar about that and very biased on who I use this for because in this game, the Hammer only has three uses. There's no way to get another. And the problem is, this is very important here. The problem is that this, there's nothing really important enough to Hammer in this game. Even the S rank weapons are not that good. I would say the Vague Kati is probably the most useful S rank weapon to Hamern, and even then, I would say it's a waste of time. 
Understood. Proceed as ordered. Sir, yes, sir. What's next? Huh? Who's there? Sir, yes, sir. Hey, it's General Ike the Great. I heard all about it, you know. Those guys went and made you a noble. Shit on? Good for you, huh? <laughs> You're in love with it. Pretty little princess. You're fighting side by side with your subhuman pals. Yes, you're moving up. Ooh, look at you. It's big Mr. Ike leading the good life. They're not subhumans. They're like goose. Yeah, whatever. Here's the deal. Now that you're a high, mighty class noble, you can't be running around with a bunch of broke mercenaries. All the other nobles are going to laugh at you, so give it up. I'll do you a favor and take over. Would be nice if you did. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm going to continue as commander of the Grail Mercenaries. Screw you. You always get everything. Don't you ever want to give up anything? No, not big important Mr. Ike. You've always been like this. You act like you're not interested in something, then you swoop in and steal it away. Hey, Shit on? What, 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 what? And watch how you say my name, boy. Boy, 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 little boy, Ike. Little Ikey. Shit on, what's wrong with you? Are you feeling all right? What do you care, you snotty whelp? It's none of your business. And another thing about the command of the company, if you refuse to give it up, at least change the name. You're not Commander Grail, just because you're his son. That doesn't give you give you the right to use its name. Shinon, are you sure you're alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll be fine. 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 Ugh. I don't feel so good. Ugh. It was never about the commandership. It was about my father. I think it's about both, because in truth, I don't think anybody particularly trusts the fact that Ike is some little kid, basically leading this group of mercenaries through life and death. In fact, I would say the only reason why they haven't died yet is because they have the support of folks like Titania, a seasoned veteran, and Soren, who is actually their master technician. And folks like Shinon, you know, fighting the fight, and everybody else who's stuck by him this whole time, because I think Ike is actually a very terrible representation of a commander. Very terrible. And... Yes, it is also about the commander, because the fact of the matter is, is that Shinon had such great respect for Commander Grail that he would do anything that Commander Grail had asked him to, even trudge through a place like Gallia, in which he had no desire to go to. And the fact of the matter is, is that's, that's true loyalty. He doesn't have that same loyalty for Ike, because again, Ike is a, a whittle boy, Ike -poo. and And I kind of get it. Frankly, what I would have really liked, and I know that this is being nitpicky, and it's also just my own bias against Ike, because I don't really like him. I think he's one of the least good lords in the series. I'm not going to hide that from anybody. I, ju I, ju I, just, I just won't. I think there are so many lords that are better than Ike. So many. In fact, there's very few that I would consider worse. Micaiah is one of very few that I consider worse than him. What would have been amazing is if Shinon had been the the um, main character. Because Shinon has a lot of character flaws. For one, he's bigoted against Legus. He's not a very nice guy. He's a drunk, as you just saw in that wonderful conversation. That's exactly why he was acting like a fool. He is very nitpicky, very mean and rude. He's not like Ike. Ike is basically a non-emotion-having he has like almost no character it was like they were almost trying to make an self-insert avatar without making one and you can almost see the roots of that evil in the franchise in this time and of course there was mark in fire emblem 7 but it doesn't matter because he took such a back seat that it's not even remotely the same thing i really think that roy and ike are terrible lords in the series because both of them are supposed to be almost self-inserts. They have no personality. They're so utterly useless, and the little personality that they have is stupid. 
you don't jive with it. You can't jive with it. It's disrespectful. It's not great. In Ike's, in Ike's case, it's just a bunch of smattering of stupidity. And I would prefer somebody like Shinon, who has a lot of character flaws, who has a lot of issues, who has a lot of not so great things to be the main character because then if he developed over the game in such a way that oh yeah now now he's relatable now he's great he's changing he he now likes the legus he he he's not like ike who's just automatically immediately acceptance and tolerant of everything new and and everything that's evil or good or whatever it doesn't matter what it is he's automatically acceptant and tolerant of everything that's ignorant Nobody acts like that. Nobody on earth is like that. Even the most quote unquote tolerant fakers on the face of this planet are nothing but intolerant towards at least something. People don't act like this. It's why I don't like Ike. He is such a Mary Sue character foil that it gets on my nerves. It boils my blood. It's why I like characters like Leaf. I like characters like Sigurd. I like characters like Self. People who actually struggle, who have personalities, who go through issues. Granted, Selif and Sigurd are not as in-depth as somebody like Leaf, but it doesn't even matter. They're still far and away better than this self-insert nonsense. But either way, with all that being said, I want to thank you for joining me, as this is the end of the episode. If you like my content, please upload and follow, or like and subscribe, depending on your platform. And while you're at it, have a great and glorious day gaming. <laughs>